Good morning, boys and girls. Today in mathematics, our learning intention is we are solving worded problems by using number sentences involving multiplication or division. Now, you know you're successful if you can write a worded problem using a given number sentence. Let's have a look at today's activity. Now, each group is slightly different, but you've all got the same activity. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, multiplication and division problems. Use the following multiplication and division equations to make your own problems. Be as creative as you can. So on the left hand side, we have all our multiplication sentences. And on the right hand side, we have all our division sentences. And so the answers are already there for you because today we're not worried about the answer. Today we're going to try and make up a word of number problem. So let's have a look at our first one down here. Here's our example that I've put on. So three girls had found four purple flowers. How many flowers is that all together? So here we have the three girls. Now each girl has four flowers. So all together that equals 12. So four, eight, 12. So here is my worded problem. Now it's your turn to have a go, but I've got a few more examples before you begin. Now if we go into Word, I have two examples here. I have 5 times 2 equals 10. Now let me think of a worded problem I could do for this one. Well I could start off with, there's 5 boys and they each had two toys. So five boys and they each had two toys. Comma. How many toys did they have all together? Hmm. So five boys and they each had two toys. How many toys did they have all together? There we go. Now my next one is 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Hmm, let me see. I had 10 chocolates and I divided them between Five, you might even just put it like the number five girls. How many chocolates did each girl to put get or receive? Uh, Always re remember to put my um, question mark at the end because it is a question we're asking. So, 10 chocolates, I might even change it. I had, I had 10 chocolates and I divided them between five girls. How many chocolates did each girl get? There we go. So here I've got my two uh, number problems now that I've created from my number sentences. And what I could do, if I want, I could draw a picture of each of those two. Now, if I want, I can take it into Word by copying it and taking it across. And I've got them down here. So I might just get rid of that one and we'll put it in. 
So the first one I might like to draw, this top one. Oh, we lost our divide symbol too, so I'll just recreate that. Pop that in here like so. And I might split them apart so then that way we've got room to draw our picture. So if you would like to, you can either draw it on or you can come into paint today and you can draw your pictures in there. So let me see. Five boys. So I need to draw my five boys. And so I might one. I'm going to do stick figure boys for this one. It will be easier for me to show you, but you guys will do a lot more detail, I'm sure. Here we go. I'm put the arms on them now. I've got the legs. Here's one boy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that like this. Copy it. I'm going to paste it five four more times to make five. I don't have to redraw it every time. I can just copy and paste it. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my five boys. And each of them had two toys. So what I can do is I can, I might just put just a box for each toy. It doesn't have to look like a toy. So I've got one. Oh. Two. There's the two toys. Might do a green toy. That can work. A green toy. And we'll do a orange toy. We lost our line around the first one, but that doesn't matter. So then, I would go copy it. And I'd paste my toys, so each boy's got the same. Like so. So I've got five boys, each boy has two toys. So if I count by twos, I should get ten. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. There's my first picture done. And then my next one that I would draw is the following one. I had ten chocolates and I divide them between five girls. How many chocolates did I get or did each girl get? So that would be my next one I could work on. So that's a little um, bit of an extra challenge for you today if you like. If you want to, you can go on to paint and you can draw some pictures of your groups that you've made um, or um, you can draw them onto your sheet if you print them off um, or you can just leave it how it is and write the worded problems. There you have today's lesson. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a good day learning and I'll talk to you later on. Bye for now.